Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie and this is Fabulous Steph and I have finally received this month's Birch Box. It was delayed over a week this time again with Hermes. It's been two months in a row. Um, they didn't really give a reason this time but I'm assuming it's something to do with how badly damaged the outer box was. It was literally like completely open at one end. Um, it looks to me like everything's actually made it but in order to check, I'll of course go ahead and use this guy right here. Um, so I had chosen the dark green because I thought it would be the least likely to stain of the stasher, which is what they used instead of the bag this week. They did put a little slip in just here. That's how to use your stasher bag and it's showing you it's like bath salts in the picture. Um, I don't, the band in the background doesn't have anything in it, I don't think. Um, and it says you can wash it in the dishwasher or with warm soapy water. You can protect the seams by avoiding turning the bag inside out. Leave the seal partially open if you're putting it in the microwave or the oven. Um, keep it temperatures below 205 degrees Celsius. Um, try and avoid sharp objects because it could get punctured. And don't place over a naked flame. Okay, fair. It is microwave friendly, hob safe, freezer friendly, dishwasher safe, oven strong and sous vide ready. Um, I'm going to sound very uneducated, but I have no idea what that means. But it says it's endlessly reusable and it's a silicone alternative to single use plastic. So that's amazing. Um, so like I said, I chose the green. It does have like the branding on it here as well, which I, I mean, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about, but I don't mind it. Um, seems fairly easy to close and to seal. I think it'd be good. It does say you can use it like it's obviously food safe, otherwise it wouldn't be oven safe. Like why would you be ovening stuff for your bedroom? Um, is oftening a word? It is now. But yeah, it seems easy enough to seal and unseal, so that's really good. And I like it as an alternative to the box because recently here I've not really set up my little stack. So I've just been getting them, like in the months we have had them, and popping them away ready for anything that I'm selling. Um, the first thing that we've got for this month, if I just jump into the products, is the Green Frog Botanic Argan and Rose Oil Shampoo Bar. This is an RP 495. It's all natural ingredients. 96% natural ingredients, that was a lie. 0% um, parabens though, which is very important, and it is palm oil free. It says, wet your hair, swirl the shampoo bar um, between your hands or over your hair to create a lather, and massage in, and then rinse out smells like rose so that kind of fits um quite happy with the scent that i've got to be honest like rose is absolutely fine for me it's not an overwhelming like fragrance if you are scent sensitive it's definitely not for you but if you aren't particularly scent sensitive if you don't get headaches from strong scents um you should be absolutely fine with that. It says, meet the solid shampoo that will give liquid versions a run for their money. Formulated with a blend of argan oil, rose oil, and aloe vera, this totally plastic free shampoo not only deeply cleanses your hair, it also leaves your locks feeling deeply hydrated and nourished. Vegan friendly, plastic free, no nasty chemicals, and 100% biodegradable. So that's cool. Um, the next thing that's in here, the full size would have an RRP of 31 pounds. Um, full size is much bigger than this, but I would assume it's about 30 ml. It might be 50 because that's the standard. And this is 5 ml. So if I quickly do that math, if we assume it's a 30, that's the full size because it is generally that, then this is one sixth. So it's worth about a fiver. Um, so you're at £10 value so far. The box costs £10 plus your postage. Um, I got mine on a deal. So I pay a little bit less than that. And I'm glad that I do, but most months I'm quite happy with the value, even if I paid full price. Um, so this is the Hugens Organic Night Repair Oil. They previously had given me the face wash, rose face wash in this, and it is legendary. It's absolutely incredible. I love to use it in the shower after I put on tons of makeup because it takes it all off. And I mean, I don't even have that sort of panda eye look that I tend to get when I come out of a shower. I generally have to wash the remainder of my makeup off because there's nothing that I could get that was really getting rid of like eye makeup without actually using eye makeup remover. So love this brand so far. It says, say hello to Glow with this cocktail of seven organic oils that naturally aid skin regeneration while you enjoy a peaceful slumber. Coconut and hazelnut oils repair. Lavender and rosewood oils regenerate. Um, and argan oil protects skin through the night. Wake up to silky, soft, visibly healthier skin. So I believe it. It says all of the packaging is 100% recyclable or biodegradable, which is also very good. 
So I'm excited to use this. I'm happy about that little guy as well. The next thing is a Hydra Replenishing Booster. Um, my skin type on um, Birchbox, I was quite clear that I avoid things that are maybe too moisturizing or too like hydrating because I have oily skin, I have combination skin. So I'm a little bit confused as to why this is the product that's came for me, but I assume that it's suitable for oily skin types, even though it references the driest of skins. Um, it says packed with hyaluronic acid and natural marine active ingredients, think algae, coastal plants and seawater, this gelified moisturising serum is designed to deliver immediate hydration and comfort to even the driest of skins. Apply morning and evening and follow with moisturiser for soft, supple skin. Okay, it says it uses stem cell innovation to produce ultra concentrated actives without harming the marine environment. I'm going to give it a sniff. Not an overwhelmingly strong smell without having squeezed any out. Will I just squeeze some out? Yeah, let's just do it. Why? Yeah. So let's have a look. Oh, cool. well, I mean, that came out quite fast. I don't think I expected that. Definitely not an overwhelming scent. Sorry if you can like hear me sniff. I, I have hay fever, but I have taken a tablet. Feels kind of like a bit of a mix between like a gel and a serum. It's pretty much completely absorbed into my hand and I would say that I can feel a difference like sort of instantly. Um, it does feel like it's soft and maybe a little plumper. It's not really an effect I usually want for my hands, but maybe, maybe I do. So happy enough with this. The RRP of the full size is £33. Um, this is a 15ml. Looks like from the bottle. I don't know if you guys would agree. It looks like it could be about a 50ml size. Which would make this... Not worth a bit of tenner. So that's really good. Happy to have it in there, happy to give it a try. Um, the next one, I like the brand, so I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions. I am a bit sick of receiving mascaras and eyeliners, but you know what, there's only so much makeup that exists. Um, and this is the Fabul Fabulous Flocking Lashes, and it says it's nourished with argan oil and yojoba, um, and it is waterproof mascara. That's quite cool that it's waterproof. It's full size, the RRP is nine pound. And it says this waterproof, budge-proof formula is the everyday mascara of dreams. It's enriched with argan and jojoba oil, yojoba, I don't know how you say it, um, to lengthen, thicken and nourish eyelashes from within. Plus when it's time to take it off, the tubes around your lashes will slide right off with warm water, no mess, no fuss. It'll slide right off with warm water, but it's waterproof. I have questions, Beauty Crop, but I will try it and let's see how that goes. Um, Beauty Crop is female founded, inspired by healthy living, creating products, enhancing, enhancing, that is not a word, enhancing with nutrition derived from natural ingredients. I have liked everything I've tried from Beauty Crop so far. I've tried the palm balm, I've tried what's the thing for the brows? But brow friends forever? That was also from Birchbox. Palm Balm was from Glossy Box, and I actually use it quite regularly, but not today, surprisingly. But it's one of my absolute faves because it's like a cheek, cheek and lip tint, which everyone hated at the time. They were like, why would I want a cheek and lip tint? And now they're super trendy and like every brand is bringing them out. So live for that and the fact that I have two because someone else just gave, gave it away. Um, what else have I got from them though? Eyeshadow, I got an eyeshadow palette from them. And now this, so that's quite a lot of things from this brand and I've loved everything from them so far. So I'm excited to try it, but it might be a while because I do have half a million mascaras open. <laughs> um, the last thing I'm really not happy about, I'm not gonna lie, it's just not for me. It is a very pretty color, um, it's this right here. So it's an 11 pound RRP and it's the Looking Super Juicy Nail Polish. It's vibrant watermelon scented, what? And enriched with real melon extract and vitamin C. This warm pinky red polishes, polishes, polish glides effortlessly onto your nails thanks to the patented ergonomic brush design. Glossy glowing nails guaranteed, 100% vegan and making big steps to ensure that every product is as planet friendly as possible. I'm gonna have to give it a sniff, which means I have to open it now, but that's fine. Okay, I thought I broke it, but that's what's meant to happen. Is it? Maybe that's not what's meant to happen. Are you supposed to turn? I can't tell. Well, there's a ridge, so it couldn't turn. So it must be what's supposed to happen. I'm very confused, guys. It looks like it was glued. And I'm going to sniff it. I'm going to wipe it off the brush first. I just huffed nail varnish on camera, so I hope that was good for you. Does not smell like watermelon. That was so disappointing. That was 
I actually, I believed them. I, was that an April Fool's joke? Was that what that was, Birchbox? Um, either way, the color's cute, but I don't wear nail varnish. I wear gel nail polish because otherwise my nails break. You can actually see the difference here. So this is my nails when they had been with like the gel polish on. This is because I forgot to put it on quickly enough. So they just completely broke. I've actually already lost parts of these nails. They were longer. Um, but yeah, they snap so easily when it's not gel polish that's on them. The gel polish just helps reinforce them and because I don't scuff down, I do have to repaint them more regularly than someone else. They do peel off, but in the interim, they just get so much healthier and get so much length. And I just like having long nails. It makes me feel like a lady. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might end up putting it on all the oats, a free thing, putting it aside for one of these many giveaways that I keep thinking I'm going to do, but I really... I don't know quite how to go about it and I don't have anything that's cohesive. It would just be a box of beauty things. They don't actually look nice together and I'd rather send something, do you know what I mean? Like I want it to be perfect. I want it to be something that like someone's super excited to receive and like, yeah, if I was getting to that stage, like, but one day I will be there and I'll have all of this stuff ready um, and at the goal. This is probably my favorite part of this is that sad? It says sandwich waterfall. That sounds like the best amount of sandwiches. It also says bulk because Birchbox obviously ordered in bulk, which is quite funny. Um, a little bit disappointed still with Birchbox because of the experience last month and now this coming dead late, but it's not really their fault. I do think that generally they send me at least one thing I really like. If you're considering getting beauty boxes, Birchbox isn't top of my list in terms of giving full sizes. It's always a bit less, but their price point is similar to the other boxes. But in terms of giving me brands that I've maybe not heard of, things to try and then end up loving, like this is a key example, this Hugens Paris. Would never have heard of this brand. And if I looked it up, seeing the price point at like 33 pound and like all of the other price points, um, I probably wouldn't invest in it. Like I wouldn't just buy it. I've not heard anything about it. So they always give me something new to try. And some of the products that they have given me, I've ended up buying the full price and fallen in love with. Whereas stuff from like Glossy Box, I can't think of anything that I've actually even replaced once it's run out. Or maybe it's not even run out yet because it's the full sizes and you just end up having full size, like a million open mascaras and a million open moisturizers and it just feels a bit more wasteful. So if you're keen to mitigate your impact, latest in beauty, because you're choosing, so you get to make the decision yourself um, and probably Birchbox. And that probably made me make the weirdest face just there because that's my battery telling me it really needs to charge. I was out for brunch today because we're allowed now in London. Um, a little socially distanced catch up with a friend that I have not seen in a very long time and it was so nice just to get dressed up and to do something different. Though people were looking at me funny, I think I'd maybe dressed a little dark for how sunny it is. Um, but I hope you guys are all having fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and my random ramblings. If you did, you can hit that thumbs up button as usual. If you've got any questions, if you've got other stuff in your birch box, um, I'd love to hear it. So drop that in the comments down below. And if you want to see more content from me, you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button. If you don't know hard feelings, either way, I hope you guys have a lovely day and are enjoying some glorious sunshine wherever you are because Laura knows we all need it. <laughs>